In this tutorial, we will learn how to create an embossed text or how to create raised letters on a flat surface like this using Blender. And in case you are looking for an engraved text or a carved out text like this one, you can check our previous tutorial, the link is given below. So let us start with a blank new file. We will hide this default cube for the time being. Now go to the add menu and add a text field, which will be our starting point. Let us then go to the text tab. We can change the text font from here and also the font size from here. Now scroll down below and change this horizontal alignment to center and the vertical alignment to also center. We would like to add our own text instead of this default one. So we have to go to the edit mode. Delete everything with backspace and enter whatever text you want to add. You can even use a multi-line text. Once it is done, go back to the object mode. And from the object menu, convert it into a mesh object through this mesh option. Then again, go to the edit mode. Press A to select all the vertices, then hit X to bring this menu and select limited dissolve. Then go to the mesh menu and under merge, select merge by distance. Now open this operator box and increase the merge distance to say 0.01. We will see that Blender has removed some duplicate vertices for this mesh. This will help us later to avoid some bevel issues. Now press E to extrude this text. And you can either use your mouse like this or just type a value directly, say 0.5 and hit enter to accept it. Then again press A to select all the new vertices, then go to the mesh menu and again apply the merge by distance operator. Finally, back to the object mode, we are now good to bring back our default cube. We need to resize this cube so that it covers the entire length of our text object. So in the object properties, we will first change the height to say 0.4, then increase the X scale factor sufficiently to cover the text and we can also slightly increase the Y scale factor. Now, select the text object. We need to change its Z location appropriately so that there is an overlap between these two objects. Once you are satisfied with its placement, select the cube object and go to the modifiers tab. We have to add a boolean modifier. Switch over to this union option. And in this target object field, we need to simply select this text. Now, let us just hide the text object. You'll see that the text is still visible on the cube as it is, so it got attached permanently or embossed. But sometimes this may not work, so in those rare cases, you can either use this fast method or stay with the exact option, but expand this section and enable the option called self-intersection, the problem should then get resolved. Once you are satisfied with the output, you need to apply this modifier. And then you can delete this text object, its purpose is over. So it looks good, but the embossed text will look even better if we add some bevel effect to its edges. So select this object, then go to the object menu and apply shade auto smooth. Then again from the object menu, we need to apply all the scale factors. Now we are ready to add the bevel modifier. The width type should be offset and in this amount field, we need to enter a low value like 0.01. The number of segments can be 5. Then expand the geometry section. We have to disable this clamp overlap and under the section for shading, let us enable the option called Harden Normals. So we can see that the corners and the edges now got some roundness. This is called bevel and it makes any object look better. But please remember, if we increase this bevel amount beyond a certain point, it can destroy the object completely. So we need to use a lower value, like 0.01. But even then, you may still have some wrong geometry in some areas. We can see that we have a problem here, so we will rectify this. But the solution depends on the type of the issue. Let us examine how to rectify this particular problem. We need to first go to the edit mode. Then turn on the edge selection mode from here. If we zoom into the area of our concern, we can see that the problem is created by this particular edge and we need to remove it. Let us disable the bevel effect for the edit preview. So we can now clearly see the edge, which is the culprit, but we cannot just remove it. We need to first connect this to a nearest vertex point, then we can delete this wrong edge. So pick up the knife tool, and then we will make a cut from this point, to maybe this corner, and then hit enter. Now pick up the selection tool, and select this edge alone. Then hit X, and select limited dissolve. So that wrong edge got removed, and if we now bring back the bevel effect, 
we will see the bevel is smooth and free from any problem. So we can go back to the object mode and everything looks just perfect. The bevel is now error free. For some cases, you may be a little more lucky. So you can try to increase this bevel amount even further. It's okay as long as no artifact is visible for your object. Otherwise, you have to reduce this value. So the text is embossed. Now we can add some attractive material. Let's turn on the rendered view mode and go to the materials tab. We can either create a new material and then customize these material properties, or we can also select an existing material from this list. We have imported this gold material from another project, but this is a procedural material, so it may not get exported. And we are using HDRI lighting, so if you see a dark output, you can check our tutorial link given below on how to set up HDRI lighting, or you can use this material view mode as well. So we are done with the first part of this tutorial, where we have discussed how to create an embossed text on a flat surface. Now we will discuss the second part, how to export this model for some other software. We have to go to the modifiers tab and apply the bevel modifier. Then go to the file menu and under export, let us export it in a GLB format. We will save it on our desktop. Now, if we open the GLB file in some 3D viewer like this, we will see that the embossed text is correctly exported, but the golden material is absent, that is because a procedural material is not easy to export in Blender, you should use a textured material for export purpose. So this is how we can create an embossed text, and if you want to know how to export a procedural material as a texture, you can check our tutorial link given below. That's all for today, and I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and join this channel.